Hello everybody. In this video, I want to show you a really quick way uh, how we can actually create a Excel spreadsheet through files in C Sharp. So you can go to the big um, way to actually do it, or you can go the fast one that is using a nugget called EP Plus. So let me actually look for that nugget and let me show you what I'm referring to. Give me a second just to open my okay. Let me look for that nugget particular E plus. And this what it does is is a spreadsheet library for .NET. So we install it copying in this the way that you know, right? And you execute it in the terminal. And in order to make it work, or in order to understand it, we can actually go to the, this is a third party library. This is nothing came from Microsoft directly. So we can actually see the documentation. Version 5 is the latest one. It have a cost if you're using commercially, right? Commercial license. But then you can actually pay it for, for developers or for project. Or you can actually um, use it for free in when you're learning, right? That's why we are, we are able to use it. If we go to the Apollo's features, um, let me see what the documentation is. Company no pricing. Feature supporter, there's a bunch of stuff there. Formula calculation. We can do we can do the styling, we can do pretty much everything that we need. We we need to do there. So let me just do got it. Um let's open the developer wiki. And this pretty much how to get started. It shows you how to use it, how what to need to do, and stuff like that, right? You can go through the documentation if you want it. I will show you a really quick example that I recreated how to do it. So using Office Open XML, that's in, in the library Excel namespace. So the first thing we need to do, the request is Excel package license context is for non-commercial. It just to initially say the Excel itself, saying that it's a non-commercial is for teaching purposes. Next step, as you already know, you create a, uh, a file. I point into my working directory that is pretty much the same directory that I have here. And using um, my that uh, a package, the new Excel package, and I send the file. So pretty much this one grab my file. I can do okay. My sheet is going to be for that package workbook worksheet at and I added a worksheet called my sheet. And then the cell A1, I save it with hello world. And this has a string. Cell A2 and A3, I save it in number five and number three. And cells A4, I do a formula. And that formula I use pretty much adding those two numbers. That means that the result should be an eight. And at the end, I just have my package safe. So it's really simple. Um, it's not much straightforward, but I wanted to show you how to do it like an Excel spreadsheet. Um, if I just do a .NET run, you will see right away you just finish it. Uh, an Excel worksheet was created for me. So in order to make this work, I need to rebuild an explorer. I will open my folder where I have my code. If I actually clean my workbook, enable it editing, I can actually zoom in and show you my A1 in my hello world. This is a five, this is a three, and this is the formula with the calculation in there. So just like that, we are able to do it. We can actually read, you can do a bunch of stuff. You can do whatever you want. 
you want to use it for the project, just um, read the documentation. I will share those links for you. For now, let me just do add my git ignore and let me just push it so you can actually have access to the whole source code. I will do git init, git add everything. Then git commit example finish it. I will create a repo. And then I will just push it. So that will be available for you guys. So that's it. I, I just want to do a really quick video. And I didn't want to tag it to the before because the scope goes a little bit out. But I want to show you who can actually work with the Excel file because it's something that probably you will use or you will need in the future, right? Of course, there's other things that you can do, like the, the styling, the sizing, uh, more complex formula, things like that. But for now, that's pretty much it is what it is, right? So I hope that you like it. Any question is out, don't hesitate to reach me. Happy coding, everybody.